Taking apart Furby starts with the fur. The fabric is sewn to these little plastic tabs that fit into the enclosure. Nothing is glued here. Once it's fabric free, it becomes apparent that a few screws hold the front and back of the plastic enclosure together. I managed to remove all the various circuit boards like the main one that has everything else plugging into it, the one holding the LED in the ear, and the switches inside the face. I disassembled the rest of her by undoing as many screws as I could find until I got to the sticky motor area. Since my friends at Lumafield put this thing in their CT scanner before I took it apart, I let my urge to not get motor grease all over the place express itself. We'll take a look at the scan later.